Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I want to show you how you change the name, how you edit your M1 finance portfolios. Maybe you want to change a particular company that's inside of it. Maybe you want to add a, uh, you know, update the name of that particular pie, that portfolio. Well, I'm going to show you guys the steps you take to do that in this video, as well as how you might potentially update you know, the companies that are inside of the particular portfolio. Maybe there's been a change at one of the companies that you're not a big fan of and you've decided, hey, I'd rather, you know, allocate my funds, my investment towards another company that I believe in, that I think will, you know, have greater returns, whatever it might be. I'm going to show you guys how to do those things inside of this video. But first, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest videos. And I also have a little surprise if you stick around until the end that you definitely don't want to miss. For example, the name of this, it's called Dividend Pie. I don't want to call it Dividend Pie. I mean, I know it's a pie. I would rather call it my Dividend Portfolio, for example. So we're inside of our uh, M1 Finance account. All you'll do is come down here, click on Edit. This will pop up and then you can simply change the name of our this particular pie whatever you want to call it and um, you know again if you want to add a little description dividend uh, companies, companies whatever whatever it might be that come over here you'll press save are you sure you want to uh, press confirm and now we have our dividend portfolio now that we know how to update the name of your uh, pie, your portfolio, um, maybe you want to update the particular companies that are inside of that list. Uh, for example, for me, you know, and it's not necessarily because <laughs> it happens to be red right now, um, but I do want to change one of the companies that I have inside of my portfolio and go with someone that I, you know, personally depend on more and I think is just kind of a more reliable staple, more consistent than a pharmaceutical company like AbbVie. So what we're going to do is come up here, press the edit button. Then we're inside of our portfolio and we can see the list of companies that we have. And again, maybe I first want to come over to add and decide what company I would like to add to my portfolio. I have a good there's a good chance they're going to show up on the first one or two pages, maybe three pages uh, that I'm going to add to this particular portfolio. Um, obviously, we're seeing a ton of great companies showing up, some that are already in my portfolio, some that aren't. But the one that I would like to add is up here at the top, which happens to be Procter and Gamble. You can see they have a 315 uh, market cap. Uh, 2.45 dividend yield and if we just come over I mean all of their numbers look pretty good and again just an all-around reliable kind of fundamental company that provides so many different common day uh, uh, products and items that we depend on and use that I decided I've decided let's add them to my dividend portfolio and again um, this might not necessarily be something where you know like right now I haven't necessarily added you can see it says a hundred percent but they are, are at zero excuse me and so if we start to add this up and you know right now it's at 109 because i gave them nine percent let's go to 10. but that means we have to remove someone in like i mentioned avi is who we are going to remove and replace them with procter and gamble and you know now we have a little risk in here we have some high dividends and then again and just kind of a lot of stability and kind of a mixture of different organizations that happen to be in this list um, but I'm going to press save, confirm, and 
of course, we have Procter and Gamble in our list now, and the uh, funds that were in the previous company will be reallocated to our new company um, uh, when the next trading day begins, which is Monday morning at nine thirty a.m. Um, of course, <clears throat> of course, um, yeah. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Definitely wanted to just make a little how-to video um, as I start to make videos around M1 Finance. And I know a lot of you guys are going to have some of these questions. And I figured, hey, let's just get a head start. I'll start to punch them out now and and give you uh, uh, you know some pointers that I believe will help you with your financial independence journey. And especially specifically around M1 Finance and Webull and other investing platforms that I'm a fan of that I use that I think you guys can benefit from as well. So again, if you guys thought this video was helpful, definitely like this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest video content. All right, guys, I'm going to keep it moving, but I'll see you in the next video. Peace.